I'm looking for a cute boyfriend I could buy a car for and a PS5 for. I just got my income tax, so hit me up. Looking for a boyfriend. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver's here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, before we get started, I have to set the table. I have to set the stage and get you an idea of what we're talking about and who we're dealing with, okay? We have Alexandria Cortez here. And let's see how she first got started. Let's go. Back in 2016, we put out a call for nominations, trying to capture the diversity of background, of experience, of the American electorate, the people that aren't currently represented in office. We got over 10,000 nominations. Out of those 10,000 nominations, we found Alexandria. My brother told me that he had sent my nomination in the summer, but I was like literally working out of a restaurant and I was like, there's no way. Her profile is not what you would think of as someone who should run for office, right? I grew up with a really politically engaged and attuned family. We always were debating politics, talking about things, but we were never involved in the formal structures of politics. We saw these signs of someone who's willing to sacrifice their own future for the good of others. I remember some of the moments that I felt really dejected about politics, the extension of the Bush tax cuts mm -hmm. in 2010, and seeing that the same people were financing all campaigns. And I was right. like, what is even yeah. the difference of a Democrat and a Republican? That was a depressing part, right? Yeah, exactly. And so I, like a lot of working people, felt that cynicism. And I understood it very deeply. 2016 represented a re-engagement. That's when I started tuning in more to activism and really getting to the core of these issues. I remember that evening on election day in November. I was really disappointed and really sad, but I was not shocked. She was at Standing Rock trying to figure out what her next steps are, just like a lot of people were. What do you do when someone like Trump wins? And my experience at Standing Rock was so spiritually transformative. Being there in such an acute moral struggle, you really saw how it was more important than any material thing. And so I walked out of that camp and I was like, what do I do? And then literally that day, I get this email like, this is what you do. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's her on a casting call, looking for somebody to fill in the spot. They were looking for an actor looking to fill in a politician spot. Now, we have a good mentor of mine, Rush Limbaugh, used to say that politics is showbiz for the ugly. It's for people who are too ugly to make it to Hollywood. No. All right, or too geeky or too nerdy. And here we have Alexandra Cortez here had to fill in a casting call for her position. All right. So don't come at me. All right. This is their own words. This is their own documentary on how they got AOC into the limelight. All right. Now, now that I have set the stage, we have Alexandria Cortez here having a debate with Hunter Biden's former uh, business partner, Bobolinsky over here. All right. So, they have Nick's exchange here. Uh, Mr. Bobolinsky, I, I heard your opening statement. It's submitted to the record, part of our proceedings. I have a quick question. Simple. Is it your testimony today that you personally witnessed 
President Joe Biden commit a crime? I believe the fact that he was sitting with me while I was putting together a Did you deal, witness the president commit it, a crime? Is it your testimony today? Yes. And what crime do you have you witnessed? How much time do I have to go through it? It is simple. You name the crime. Uh, Did you watch him steal something? Cor- corruption statutes, you, RICO and conspiracy. What is it? What is Cara. what is the crime, sir? You, you, specifically you, just, uh, you keep up you ask me to answer the question i answered the question no Rico, you're obviously not familiar with corruption excuse statute. me sir excuse Cara. me sir excuse me sir rico is not a crime it is a category what is know. the it's a category crime. of crimes that you're then charged you under, have charges along a hundred you have charges statute. Sir, yeah. please you want me to name, name the exact statute sir, under Rico. Yes. Oh, well, it's funny in this committee room. Everyone's not here. There's over eight. All right, sir. I reclaim my lawyers. Time. I reclaim the law my school. time. I I'll reclaim my time. You guys, okay, to thank you, the sir. I reclaim my time. What? Alexander Cortez just said that Rico is not a crime. It's a category. Fonnie Willis, did you hear that? What? Did you hear that, Fonnie Willis? All right. Fonnie Willis is trying to put a Rico charge against Donald Trump. Fonnie Willis is trying to put a RICO charge on Young Thugger. AOC, the great Democrat politician, just said that RICO is not a crime. Oh my God! So what the hell are we doing here? What the hell are we doing here, people? (laughs) Come on. Clearly, what we are seeing here today is a continuation of the 15-month saga of the Republican majority lost in the desert. Impeachment 101. So we're going back and forth with this idiot here. And everybody knows that she is a mental midget. I am not the expert on geopolitics. I'm not talking about Farney Willis. I'm talking about Alexandria Cortez. All right. Have you noticed that she never done a debate with a grown up before? She never done a debate. All what she's been doing campaigns, she's been campaigning with uh 16, 17, 18 year olds in high school, but she never have debated an adult ever. I came up with my plan after we were watching like the most important documentary on climate change. It's called Ice Age 2. The meltdown. That's not me saying it. That's science. My Green New Deal will cost like $93 trillion. Do you know how much that is? Me neither. Because it's totally worth it. If sea levels keep rising, we won't be able to drive to Hawaii anymore. Yet, she's getting all the limelight. She's sucking up all the air. She's getting all this attention here. New York, stand up. This is you. What a f***ing idiot. Well, anyway, that's what I got for you today. An idiot named Alexandra Cortez. And she's representing New York. New York, take a bow, please. (sighs) Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. (laughs) Watch out now. (laughs) All right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. AOC, get off my lawn.